live trading Friday morning. Got a couple stocks I'm looking at. I uh, actually just took a, a short swing trade on SNDL Sundial based on this rising trend line I'm seeing here. Uh, looks like we're reacting to the 100 moving average and we're trying to get above this downtrending Tinkinson line here. Uh, I look at a four hour chart and yesterday we put in this uh, sort of reversal pin bar here. Now we do have downtrending resistance from this Tijinson line. Uh, this, this thing is trending down pretty steeply. I think what we're seeing here is an oversold bounce. So I'm looking for a pullback. Uh, oh, possibly up here into the 120 area. Uh, we've got some resistance, strong resistance up in here around 125, 124. Let's look at a 30 minute chart. So a 30 minute chart, we've kind of broken this, this short term downtrending resistance here and we've had a moving average cross. So I'm keeping an eye on these moving averages here. This is a, a nine period uh, Tinkinson line. And I'm, I'm kind of looking for that to hold. I'm looking for prices to stay above this uh, Keyjinson line, which is curved up. <clears throat> so this is just a short term swing trade. And I'm looking at the 30 minute chart. Um, watching for prices to stay above this flat area of this cloud right here. And we're getting a bullish twist over here. So I'm not planning to stay in this for very long. This is definitely in a downtrend. Uh, just looking for a pullback here, uh, sort of an oversold bounce. We can see our resistance from the Keyjinson line right here at about $1.33, $1.35. Okay, let's see what else there is to look at. FUBO is strong today. What's this thing doing? Reacting to the 200 moving average. Let's drop this volume down. I see the chart a little bit better. Let's look at a longer trend on this. I'm not real familiar with this chart, so we're just looking at technicals here. Uh, so it looks like what we're reacting to is that 200 moving average. Uh, we're may, putting in a bullish candle getting above this downtrending Tinkinson line here. So this is first signal of a pullback. We'll have other resistance areas to deal with this downtrending Keyjinson line here. Uh, we're getting moving average cross. So really trying to take swing trades on something like this is, is uh, you need to be very careful because uh, this isn't a downtrend. Okay, this is our nearest downturn in resistance on a four hour chart at about $26. So I'm not really looking for this to go too far. Uh, it's just kind of an oversold bounce. You can see what happens here when we pull back and we react to this Keyjinson line. Reacted to it here. So I, I wouldn't get in right here. This is uh if you took a day trade on this, I would just, I'd probably take those profits right now. Uh, let's see. Let's get back on a daily chart here. OPEN, still in a downtrend. Let's look at DraftKings. Uh, I pointed out this could be a trading opportunity based on this rising trend line here. Price has been struggling a bit. We've had a moving average cross. Uh, we're trying to get above this downtrending Tinkinson line here. Uh, price is just kind of struggling here. So uh, if you want to get in this on a long position, I definitely look for it to hold above the cloud and above this trend line here. We've dropped below the 50 moving average, which has been, uh, we've reacted to that pretty well in the past. Put in some nice pin bars here when we tested these areas. Uh, I'm not seeing that pin bar here. I just, uh, 
So I'm kind of skeptical this, this could be rolling over. We've had this TK cross, moving average cross here. So I'd be a little cautious with that. Um, PLTR, I took a swing trade on this based on this uh, consolidation support level here at about $21. Um, but we do have downtrending resistance. We're getting moving average cross. Uh, we're trying to get above this Kijinson line here, and that would be uh, a positive thing. And look to see this uh, Tankinson line start curving up and supporting the price uh, like we saw over here. See, when price is trending, it's uh, being supported by this white Tankinson line and above Keatinson. So we don't have that relationship here yet, but if price can push up some more, uh, we should uh, see this nine moving average that Tinkinson start to curve up. Uh, then we'll have resistance from the cloud to deal with here. So basically I'm looking at a short swing trade for, on this for now, I'm looking to push up to possibly about $26 here. Um, I think I've actually put in a limit order to take profits at about $26 or 25 I like to go a little under because the market likes even numbers. So I'm not sure if we'll get to 26 before we have a reaction. So somewhere around 2580 maybe. I'd have to look at my account see where I put that limit order. SOS has been trending in social media groups lately. People think this is going to push up. Um, it's trying. We're reacting to this downtrending Keatinson line here. We put in a couple of uh, dojis here, I guess you call them, or uh, doji or spinning top. Uh, so this thing's kind of struggling. I think this was an oversold bounce. And I'd be really careful with this. This is all downtrending resistance. Um, we've got this funny thin cloud and this really flat top here basically because this thing just went up so fast. Um, so you can't really rely too much on this cloud, but I, I am looking at this strong resistance area right here and the downtrend in Kijinson. So I'm not really expecting this to go too far. So we've got a four hour chart. Four hour chart, we can see our downtrending resistance here and look how we're reacting to it. We're putting in these pin bars and reacting to this. Uh, but we are above the Tinkinson line. So if you're trading this, I would look for, I'd look at the four hour chart and look to hold this Tinkinson, which is a nine period moving average. Uh, it, it works a little different with Ichimoku. It takes these areas where it kind of flattens out. Um, so yeah, we saw this, this good gap up right here. Usually for a reversal signal, I, I like to look for a long pin bar right here. And I'm not really seeing that. Just seeing this gap up and now we're reacting to this downtrending pressure. So I'd be a little careful with that. Tilray, some of these pot stocks are just looking kind of oversold. I was actually short on this and I just, uh, I closed that again. I've been short a couple times on this. Um, one could speculate that there is a rising trend line here. Let's see if we can draw a trend line. Start here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Could be getting close to this, this longer term rising trend line that may be forming. We've got the 100 moving average. Uh, Sundial today is reacting to a similar point with a possible rising trend line and a 100 moving average. I don't really like pot stocks, but uh, if I see a technical indicator, any technical indication that this uh, could provide some some profits, then I'm I'm all about it. Let's look at block B L O K. This has just been kind of in this consolidation range. 
Uh, I don't see too much interesting. I'd be looking to maybe go along again with a pullback to the bottom of this range, or maybe along in here at about 50, 50, 50, 50, 80. Uh, we do have support from an uptrending Tinkinson line here. But these previous tops here are kind of concerning. We've got sort of this double top. And with the sluggish price action, I wouldn't doubt if we see a triple top or just more consolidation. It looks like we may be reacting to this uh, 50 moving average here. So... I don't see too much exciting going on with that. RIOT has pulled back to its uh, 50 moving average here. These moving average lines have really widened out. So this is kind of indicative of a good amount of downside risk because the next possible reaction area is clear down here at $30. Uh, we're at 49 right now. This is our best area of support, the flat bottom of the cloud right here. This sort of where we reacted here in the past. So that'd be about, uh, oh, 43, $44, between 43 and 44. I tend to look at the daily close. So if we put in a, start putting in a candle on the intraday, I'm not too concerned about that. I look for where the price closes at. But I'd look for a daily price close to stay above this flat area of the cloud here at uh, about $44. Uh, this is looking kind of stagnant to me. I'm seeing this sort of downtrending wedge pattern. Let's see. You see this downtrend that's going on here? And then we've got our support right here. So one could speculate this is a bull flag. Um, I haven't been having too much luck lately with these type of patterns. I mainly look for, uh, I've seen these kind of patterns fail where this will break out and counter resistance up in here and then fail. So, uh, but a bull flag pattern, you basically could take a trade based on a breakout of this pattern and look for it to hold, look for price to stay above this pattern. Uh, but for long, I li I'm liking the bottom of this cloud if you want to get in this and look for that to hold. I think some of these are just up way too much. So, I mean, it's a lot of risk getting in something that, that has rallied from $5.00. And it's topped out at about $75, $80. So that's uh, <coughs> that's what about a 16. Yeah, I'm not going to speculate on that. That's an awful lot of uh, momentum to be chasing. Let's look at Snapchat. What's that doing? I drew a bunch of lines on this. We've had this head and shoulders top thing here. This is resistance here. There were a number of resistance areas. And we've pushed past them here. So these could be considered support areas now. Just going to get rid of those, I think, for right now. All right. So we're above the cloud. I would look for, if you want to long this, I would look for the flat area of the cloud right here it aligns with the bottom flat bottom here flat top of the red i would look for this to hold now this would be our support now it is at about 60 50. right here 60 54 it came out as but yeah Okay, I think this is another one that's uh, it's up a lot. It's had a pullback. Uh, we dropped below the cloud, and now we're trying to get back above it here. So let's look at a four-hour chart. This can show us, uh, yeah, see, on the four-hour chart, we just broke above the cloud right here. But we still have a downtrending red cloud. 
Uh, Tank and Sin is our short-term support, and price could pull back. So I wouldn't doubt if this pulls back near the bottom of this cloud, near, closer to this Tank and Sin line. Uh, I could just I could see that happening. Uh, I don't really try to predict where price will go. I just read the chart and uh, based on what the chart is telling me, if we close below this cloud today, uh, that would be a signal of a pullback. This has pretty, been a pretty big run here. Uh, resistance right in here. We're actually at a resistance right here. You see where we've topped out over here. We topped out here. Now we're putting an intraday wick right here. Uh, I wouldn't start a long position right here today. In fact, if you were if you were lucky enough to, to take a trade down here, uh, just a short term swing trade, I'd actually take profits right here. Uh, look to get back in on uh, more confirmation, either a break of this resistance area or another pullback to this uh, Tinkinson line on the four hour chart. 30 minute chart still looks strong. Might just pull back to uh, Keatinson here. Yeah, this still looks pretty strong, so this could just keep running. We will see. CCIV, this thing's been pretty dead. Looks like we're trying to put in this support area right here. Uh, but we've got all this downtrending resistance going on. So um, I think these stocks are, these momentum stocks have been getting beat up pretty good. Uh, if, we, if we can break above the Keatinson line here, uh, we could push up to the cloud, just depending on how long it takes us to get there. But we've got this, the way the cloud is forming, We've got uh, short-term resistance right in here at 2470, 24.75. More right up here, 26.50. And uh, so I'm just I'm seeing a lot more downtrending resistance in these things than I am support. So I would look for this support area right here to hold at this uh, $21 level. If you want to mess around with that, fuel cell. This looks like it's trying to form a uh, support area here. Um, I had shorted this uh, on this uh, resistance from the Keatinson line here, and then I went ahead and I took my profits this morning on this short trade. It wasn't much, but. Uh, based on this support area I'm seeing here. So I'm looking for another reaction here. Uh, if these things are gonna go back uh, up near they, where they were, it's, just, it's gonna take a lot of time, I think, with all this downtrending resistance going on. Uh, the technicals are pretty broken on these. Uh, they were just up so much, so fast in such a short amount of time. So right now I'm just, I'm looking for this, uh, 1140, 1150 area to hold here. Let's see what else we're gonna look at. IDEX. This is trying to do something. It's trying to form a pullback here. I don't really like this stock. I think it's, we have this long-term rising channel. We're sort of in the middle of the channel. Um, this thing has taken some pretty big gap ups in the past and then it spends months bleeding off. Big gap up. So let's see, where was our... This was the COVID crash here. So a lot of these have just kind of rallied after the COVID crash. A big uh, EV hype rally. Big gap up here in June. So I'm not really liking this. There's a lot of resistance up in here. We are getting a TK cross here. We've got our moving average cross. 
Uh, we're kind of mixed here. We're, we're, we've fallen below the white Tinkinson line and trying to find support from this Kijinson. So to stay in a short swing trade here, I'd look to stay above this Kijinson line, which comes in at about 29 or uh, 290, 291. Let's look at a four hour chart. Yeah, four hour chart, we got this downtrending red cloud and look how we're reacting here. We, we could get through. We're trying to form a bullish twist over here. Uh, Price is really testing it. Uh, quite often we'll react, trend down, and then uh, find some support from this uh, Tijinson line here maybe. So let's look for this to hold uh, 292, about 290, 291 area. Uh, to stay in this on a swing trade, I would look for this to hold on a four hour chart. Let's see what's up with GameStop. This thing still looks weak. I really figured this would fail miserably by now. It would just fall out of the sky here, but this thing's been kind of surprising. It's hanging in there, but we're definitely below the cloud and trending below our technical indicators here. So if you have profits in that, I would consider taking them. AMC is looking a lot the same. The two charts are very similar. Let's see. Yeah, look how similar these charts are. Below the cloud, we're trying to hold this uh, 50 moving average. I think once that 50 average breaks, then uh, we could see a, a pretty good push down to the 100 moving average. We've got a support area down in here at about 555. Uh, a little bit of support here, I guess, uh, at about 790. Kind of weak support. Uh, we may see a reaction here and then fail. Just speculation, but uh, this is definitely resistance up in here. It's been a resistance area I've talked about for weeks now, this $11 range. And I was surprised we actually broke above it, but uh, we've dropped below the cloud now, so this is. Uh, this is looking bearish. Tesla, this resistance area has been holding here from the downtrend to Kijinson line. And we've got the little bit of flat bottom of the cloud, flat top. So this uh, 7, 705 to 720 area has been uh, the nearest term strong resistance. And it does look like we're going to ultimately continue to push down on that. Plug power, still in a momentum downtrend where we've dropped back below the Tinkinson line here. Trying to find support from the 200 moving average. I've drawn a support line here based on these uh, the price action along in here. And we've put in a few candles right here. so. This is kind of an interesting support area, but I'm very skeptical this is going to hold. I think it's just it's normal to see, uh, see a reaction here and price react a few times and then possibly ultimately fail here. We'll just have to keep an eye on it, but uh, I'm not liking a long position in that right now. And I think if you're short, I would take profits here as well just to see what it's going to do. We could push up and test this downtrending Keatsonson line again. GNUS is trying to hold this uh, rising trend line I've drawn here. Not much going on with this lately. Uh, it's looking kind of weak. So one could speculate this trend line could hold and uh, try a long trade here and look for this to hold. I think a, a drop below 170 and uh, this trend line has failed.
this has been pretty strong this uh, Mohawk group it looks like it's finally rolling over um, we've had a TK cross up here so <laughs> as big as this thing has rallied I would I would have taken profits here at this TK cross tried to react to the cloud and we got rejected at this Kijinson line here that's all resistance now now we have the Kijinson line uh, coming down onto the price and a price uh, we get a daily close below the cloud which we did here but then we went back up in there to test this uh, this looks like it's rolling over it says PTON looks bearish we're testing the cloud here testing a downtrending 50 moving average I'm looking for this to get rejected here uh, but on a positive note we have reacted to the 200 moving average and we have a TK cross going on right here so we may pull back uh, to find support from this rising Tinkinson line here at about 113 and ultimately try to push through the cloud I would look for price to definitely stay above this uh, well, definitely above the Kijinson which is clear down here we still have a downtrend in Kijinson line so I like to see these moving averages start to curve up and price be supported by them so I'm actually looking for this to get rejected here let's look at Givo Chivo has been trying to hold the cloud, but we're ultimately we're we're breaking down below the cloud again, which we saw here. Trying to find support from this uh, Kijinson line, but it is a downtrending Kijinson line, so uh, things aren't looking real good for Chivo here. <laughs> Neo downtrending pressure from this Kijinson line it looks a. Uh, Look how we've been reacting to it here. We got above the Tinkinson. Uh, Tinkinson is trying to cross here, but we, we've fallen below those lines, so that's not looking too good. ZOM, downtrending pressure from this nine moving average, the Tinkinson line here. So until we can see price back above this or back into the cloud here this is bearish so right here this is a big sell signal here at a dollar fifty about a dollar fifty dollar fifty five I need to see a daily close above a dollar fifty five to get back to being bullish on this but uh, we'll have more resistance from this downtrend in Kijitsen the top of the cloud this flat area of the top of the red cloud so we have a bearish twist over here so this this chart is looking all bearish to me uh, we have some support in this area here down around a dollar and from there I see this possibly going down to 40 cents that's my actually my speculative price target right now on this is 40 cents maybe find some support from the 200 moving average uh, I read an article on this that is really uh, they, they need to start showing that they can grow their earnings uh, based on this true form of platform where this thing will continue to bleed off it's just up so much so fast uh, you know this thing has gone from a 10 cent stock and went all the way up to uh, three dollars here so figure out how many thousand percent gain that is I read something like eight thousand percent but I'm not going to try to do the math in my head here um, almost done here Canon Incorporated this looks a little bit interesting um, we have rolled over we got the TK cross here so I'm not really liking uh, trying to trade long positions underneath the TK cross like this uh, maybe short swing trades but um, trying to hold the cloud here but we're below this Tinkinson so I'm not really liking that just tried to push up this clover health uh, but we've got a lot of downtrending pressure from the cloud 
our moving averages here. Um, this could be considered a reversal signal, this long pin, and we've, we've kind of formed a support area here. So if you're liking this, I would look for this support area here to hold at oh it looks like about seven dollars I guess all right let's see if there's anything else let's look at some blue chips here uh, these are some of the ones I'm in here it's, uh, this is Boeing I like to look at a longer term. We're trying to get into this long term rising channel with Boeing. Of course, it's kind of hard to draw these. Uh, my lines aren't very accurate here. I could probably speculate that we have more better rising channel. Something more like this. So we dropped well below it during COVID crash and we're trying to get back into this channel. Oh, I'm kind of liking Boeing as a recovery play. And uh, I'm long this stock. We're staying above the cloud on the daily chart. Here's the bottom of our rising channel. We tested it here and failed. Got above it here. Tested the bottom. We got below it a little bit and uh, now we're trying to get back up in there. Alibaba, I'm long this stock uh, based on this consolidation area here and long-term rising trend line, but it looks like we're actually breaking down below this long-term rising trend line here. Uh, sometimes price can dip below it a bit. Uh, these trend lines can be adjusted, redrawn, but uh, yeah, Alibaba is not looking all that great actually we've got this uh, downtrending pressure from Key Jensen here Facebook has seen a nice breakout I pointed out this uh, consolidation wedge and breakout um, I'm long this stock I didn't buy more because uh, I've got I got plenty and I'm not liking uh, adding more clear up here near $300 but uh, it's doing pretty well holding this Tinkinson line. Uh, it's a pretty steep rally here, so I think you're just chasing if you try to get in right here. These big cap technology stocks have seen a big rally. I'm looking for these to pull back a bit, but definitely in a nice uptrend. Uh, AMD has seen a nice pullback. This could be an opportunity here based on this long-term rising trend line. Uh, we're trying to get uh, moving average cross here and testing the cloud uh, but you can see this is kind of all over the place when it comes to the cloud here on it I more look at these long-term rising trend lines with a good a good stock that has that you can actually draw a nice rising trend line on uh, some of the EV stocks and the overhyped stocks you, you can't draw a nice long-term rising trend line on. They, they're just not there. Apple. This thing's kind of at the top of the range. I'm not interested in adding more right now. But uh, it's trying to do something here. It looks like we're heading back to the top of the range maybe. Intel. This thing's done pretty well. Uh, I bought this months ago based on this uh, this bottoming area here. Nice support area down here. Look at all this these reactions we get to this area here at uh, about 44.50, and then uh, we do have a nice long-term rising channel here. Of course, we broke well below it there, so. This channel may not be uh, may not be valid anymore, but nonetheless, we are at a 52 week now. Nah, not quite. Actually, it looks like we're testing a major resistance area here. 
getting ready to at about sixty-eight dollars. Microsoft all-time high. Mastercard, nice rising channel. We're kind of in the middle of the channel here. Uh, kind of a slow, slow growth, long-term investment type stock. Costco, love this stock. Uh, had a nice pullback. I pointed out an opportunity here to uh, add more as we got close to this long-term rising trend line. But when you're talking about long-term rising trend lines, it just doesn't get much prettier than that. Oh, I like Costco. It's a good long-term buy, buy hold. Um, CSX or rails looking pretty strong. Uh, we made a 52 week high right here. CentOS, I like this stock. Um, they do uh, uniform service for restaurants, warehouses, things like that, garbage companies. Uh, it's kind of been consolidating here. Uh, nice rally out of the COVID crash, consolidating. Uh, we can get closer to this rising trend line. I can see an opportunity to add more here. 10 year rising trend line on this thing. Uh, it's a good looking, good looking trend. NASDAQ, 10 year rising trend. Intuitive Surgical, that trend is a little bit more choppy, but uh, I like this. I got in a lot of these during this COVID crash. Just great opportunity it turned out to be. Pulte Home. Home builders have been pretty strong. Uh, I don't know about your area, but here in California, they're just building homes like crazy. So this looks like said about a 52 week high here. Uh, I'd be looking for a pullback on this. I think a lot of these, I think it's getting really hard to find opportunities in some of these. I just, some of these S&P 500 stocks have had a nice pullback. Uh, Home Depot uh, was really took off here out of this consolidation area. So we had this kind of consolidation area here after a big run out of the COVID crash. And now a breakout. This thing is just a rocket. Walmart, I like this. We've reacted to the bottom of this rising trend. Uh, market expecting a recovery to COVID, so people aren't going to be buying as many groceries, maybe eating out now, so this thing got punished. Uh, I see this as a short-term weakness, a buying opportunity. Long-term rising trend. Uh, Target's another good one. I'm not in that one. It's just kind of gotten away from me and and I'm not I can't be in all of them so McDonald's this thing's seen a nice push up uh, consolidation sort of this down down consolidation and then a breakout kind of like Home Depot and some of these others we've seen Disney it's a good company Testing the top of the cloud right here. Uh, might be a decent place to add some. I don't pay too much attention to these TK crosses on a good solid company like Disney. I just, like I say, I look at the, the long-term trend. Uh, we're kind of at the top of this. So it's kind of hard to draw a trend line on this. We've, we had a steep trend here that broke and consolidated. And now we're working on another steep trend out of the COVID crash here. Uh, there was a resistance area I'd watched right here and I pointed out a breakout of this resistance area a while back and you can see once we broke above this area here at about a dollar fifty three fifty four uh, we've had a pretty nice rally out of there. So for these long term buy and holds I just I like to look for better opportunities and than what I'm seeing up here right now. Uh, they did have an earnings announcement where they're uh, 
television content is is doing well so I think that's what started this rally here Generac I took my profits from this but um, I think I need to get back in it's we're holding the top of the cloud still clouds flattening out but we had this TK cross here uh, and now we're crossing back up yeah we've had another TK cross right here so TK cross going up now um, I'm going to go ahead and get back in on this I think I just the reason I took my profits in this this is my biggest winner this thing is up more than 200% since the COVID crash uh, COVID crash really didn't punish this stock too badly if you look at the long-term trend it's a great company uh, I took a couple I took a um, did I already do sundial I think I did so yeah I just took kind of a short swing trade on sundial here based on this possible rising trend line that's trying to form here and we're breaking above trying to break above Tinkinson here I'm not sure this is going to go too far uh, but I see this kind of uh, bullish reversal candle right here and on the four hour chart we see a, a pin bar here yesterday and uh, trying to get above this Tinkinson and we've got this downtrending pressure right here to deal with this this thing is pretty steep so um, this is just way oversold it looks like to me it's a pretty wicked red cloud we got here so this could try to push up oh, $1.20 maybe anyway all right well that's it for now that's pretty long 41 minutes 42 minutes so I'm out of here thanks for checking it out